tell you where the fish are. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. 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 Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Potsky Outdoors. Today in central Pennsylvania at one of the most famous places to fish in all of the Northeast. We're here at Penn's Creek and we're here because you know what? People absolutely hammer this place early in the season. What I mean by that, right behind me, if it was opening weekend or any time within a couple weeks of the opener, there could be hundreds of people lining the banks. We're here almost a month after they've stocked it, hoping to find a few holdovers. We're gonna come up here today with Potsky Balls of Fire salmon eggs and fish some of these cool, clear, rich waters of Penn's Creek today, drifting for a lot of rainbow trout with an opportunity to catch some brown trout. Now the brown trout are wild, the rainbows are stocked. We're gonna come through here, make a few drifts, and see if we can be successful not knowing anything about this stream. Keep in mind, I'm from California, Joey's from Southwest Pennsylvania, neither one of us have ever been here before. We simply use the app on the Pennsylvania Boat and Fish Commission's website, find out where there's public access. We showed up and we're gonna here try our luck in a place that people tell us is very tough to catch fish. We think we're gonna have some success though, and we're gonna show you how easy it is for you to come to a place you've never been before and find a way to catch trout right away. Springtime in Pennsylvania means trout. Here we are in Penn's Creek, a place that opens with the general trout opener here in the state of Pennsylvania, normally sometime in mid to late April. And as you can see, a lot of fish come in here. A lot of fish live here year round. That's the difference between Penn's Creek and a lot of the other streams in the region. Holds trout year round. It's a beautiful place to go even when the crowds die down. <laughs> like clockwork. Can't ask for them to cooperate any better than that. That's a good one, actually. Oh, it's good. Yes, sir. Get it in there. Yep. There he is. As you see, we caught like two dozen fish in this hole in the last 30 minutes. It's been non-stop action. A little bit of what we're doing. We're using a, a size 10 laser sharp hook. Small split shots, keeping it light. Small float, drifting it, keeping it simple. It's not real hard, just drift right down through the hole. And they're, they're pegging natural deluxe and pink shrimp almost every cast. It's just non-stop action. Uh, Penn's Creek is located near Spring Mills, Pennsylvania, uh, which is roughly about 30 minutes from Penn State. So here in central Pennsylvania, you have a lot of rolling hills, a lot of beautiful mountainsides in uh, covering those rolling hills. And right now, today, we're fishing the headwaters, basically, of Penn's Creek. Um, you know, the, the creek runs about 67 miles. Um, and we're on the upper section here uh, in the you-can-use-anything kind of bait section. Uh, there are some places downstream of here where you can only use flies. Uh, there's gear restrictions, but not up here, uh, which is why we're here today with Potsky Balls of Fire Eggs. We're doing a lot of drifting today, and, and what you'll notice between this and maybe Bald Eagle Creek, um, you know, Standing Stone Creek, any of the other basically popular streams here in the central part of the state, is that Penn's Creek is very shallow. Uh, there's a lot of greenery in here, and it's a very cold system, so it can support trout year-round. 
Uh, it supports a great amount of bug life, wonderful hatches. It's a wonderful place to come fishing, you know. As you can see, we are using waders today, Joey is. You don't need them necessarily here. There's a lot of roadside access, you know, a lot of public access in and around the churches. Uh, it's a great place to come out here, uh, especially after the first couple weeks of the season. Once the first couple weeks pass, uh, pressure really declines and you can come up here and, and still catch fish, have a great time and uh, avoid crowds. All right, so what's going on here is uh, we really got sick of catching all those trout at that bridge up there. So we decided to move a little bit downstream and uh, it's proof that if you can read water, you can catch fish just about anywhere. Uh, a reminder, Joey and I have never been to Penn's Creek before. Uh, we don't know anybody else that's been to Penn's Creek before. You know, we just pulled up, uh, drove over the bridge, pulled over and started, oh, and that's a miss. But what you're talking about here is reading water. And as you can see, Joey right here is in the slow water. All right, he, if you look at the size of this creek, everything from here to here is slow water. However, you look over to this side, you have a little bit of a run coming through right here. It's slow on this side, a little bit of a depth. You got a little bit of a run. You know, you got moving water flowing all the way through this area right here. I mean, you start to examine the stream a little bit more. Where Joey is casting, you'll see in a second here, is over in this area. Why is he casting over in that area? Well, a couple of reasons. One, you have a little bit of a current. What that current's doing is bringing food into the trout. Two, you have depth, you know. And three, you have holding water. So what's happening is these trout are holding on those far ends right there. You have a little bit of, of vegetation, some logs. They're holding behind in these areas where they can stay out of the main current and expect food to just come swimming right down into them. So what we've done is we've, we've rose our bobber a little bit so our, our salmon egg is, is running a little bit more true towards the bottom. And uh, we're drifting a little bit in type for a reason. Got this tree right here. And as you know, trout will use that tree as cover. So a lot of times we've been drifting right through here, right on the edge of these tree limbs. Not one, fish on baby. We got a jumper. Oh, he's a runner. Don't go in there. Get out of the wood. Come on. Here we go. It's amazing how quickly the bite strip that just, just changed from pink shrimp to premium in seconds. And this guy right here, a little aggressive, dude. Here we go, another rainbow, hooked where? Right in the lip. Hey guys, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about my thoughts on Penn's Creek. I've known about this creek my entire life. You run into somebody, you hear them say, man, I fish Penn's Creek. I go up state college fish every year on the first day. It's amazing, never got a chance to make it up here. Uh, finally, gotta do that today, it's off the bucket list. Come down, my expectations were a lot of fish, um, some different waters, some different kind of drifting. It, it, it did not disappoint. It is a, it's a wonderful trout stream. You got a lot of different uh, kind of drifting, different kind of fishing, and a ton of fish. We've just, every hole we come to, it's boom, boom, boom. We've been catching them. Uh, just floating uh, Potsky eggs. Doesn't really matter the color. We've been switching up all day. And it's just, it does not disappoint. It's a great place to fish. There's a lot of, a lot of areas to get down next to the bank. And I'd, I'd recommend anybody to give it a shot. We always come prepared, bring a lot of different color eggs because you never know what the fish are going to want that day. Today, we've had three stand out. They've all three caught fish nonstop. You got the, the premium balls of fire, always a go-to. We got the pink shrimp. They were whacking that one today. And then the good old natural deluxe, been hitting them all year, works on Penn's Creek too. Couldn't have asked for a better day. Couldn't have asked for better fishing. Boom, and we're starting the way that we, finishing the way that we started. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Better not be another sucker. It is, it is, isn't it? Another big fall fish, man. You caught another sucker. Dude, that is a giant fall fish. You caught another sucker. It's not a sucker. Looks like a sucker to me. 
Dude, I love these. Yeah, well, you're from Greene County. Darn it. You got all excited again. Every time practically I hook, a carp. Every time I hook one, dude. 